People who lie on their resume, get hired, and do a good job aren't bad. In fact they're proof that degrees mean very little. Obviously I'm not saying that people should lie about having a medical or law degree. But I hear stories of people who have been doing jobs for years and then it's found out they lied about having a degree but they've been doing the job for years and clearly didn't need one. This usually ends with them being fired for dishonesty, which I understand. But the fact that this could happen just proves that we put way too much stock in degrees when most jobs will train you anyway. During my junior year of high school, we got a new welding instructor. He was probably one of the most well-versed people I've met in my life. The guy knew quite a lot and easily demonstrated his knowledge and skill. He got fired after two years because the school just then remembered that he needed a specific degree in some crap and he didn't have it. Employers lie on job openings all the time but they're allowed to get away with it sad face. What kind of jobs were they doing? It says more about the job requirements than the person who lied. Just saying. Gert Postel is a famous conman in Germany who, after losing his mother partly due to incompetent doctors, left his job as a postman and simply applied to be the head of a big hospital. He just copied stuff he found and made his research that he had to present to committees and employers sound so complicated that no one could even ask questions. He worked as a doctor for like 20 years until someone from his old life recognized him. Even got a letter from a top judge calling him one of the most competent health experts, witnesses for trials in the country. I would just like to add that some jobs are learned by doing the job, you don't need a degree to prove you can perform on stage, or record and mix a song, or fix a car. You can learn these things in your own time. You don't need a degree to prove you can do it. So in fairness I can understand why some people lie. Otherwise they wouldn't be given jobs that they are perfectly capable of and have possibly been doing for years. What you don't see is people who lie on resumes, get hired, and are a complete crap show. These people don't make for fun, gotcha big company, buzzfeed articles. I don't recommend people lying about something that can be easily verified or skills they don't have, let alone fake portfolio. But what I think is perfectly fine is the following. I had a really hard time finding work right after uni and was mentally not in a great place, so instead of having a gap I said I did freelance work in something I am able to do and technically could have done freelance work in. I definitely recommend people use the self-employed, freelance to cover gaps. If a family member, friend has a company you can cover a gap by saying you did work for that company even if really you just did some unpaid help with a small thing. Presenting internships as full-time jobs where doable. I had a great unpaid internship abroad. No one is going to get in touch with them. Back when I had no work experience I used the title I had during the internship which sounds like a real job. No one will know, and since I have built experience anyway. Two years on a cool job sounds better than seeing that I spent two years doing an unpaid part-time internship. Change your titles where it's a fair move, and chances of anyone calling you out are low, none. I had jobs where I progressed in responsibilities under the same title. Ironically the issue with getting the title promotion was usually lack of experience. When I left, I decided to use the title that better represented the work I did and sent the better message about my skills and aspirations. My next jobs are the ones where I was going for the same title, since now I had experience in it. And my references are not the HR or whatever but my line managers and people I worked with, who would confirm my duties and not correct the wrong title. As someone with a bachelor's degree, I can confirm that I'm stupid AF. The blanket statement that degrees mean very little is objectively false. It could be true for certain positions in certain industries, but you can't honestly make that claim across the board. Half agree. You don't need a degree for many things to be successful. But if you put skills on your resume that you don't actually possess and you can't even talk about there is no way I'm hiring you. Having a degree isn't about education or understanding concepts these days. What employers see when they see a degree is that a person invested in their future, is future oriented, and can follow through with a long term commitment. Good luck lying about a degree on a job application. Most HR teams seem to verify every tiny little thing about you during onboarding. My job was once under threat because I left a job and didn't sign up for job seekers benefits for a couple of months, I had money so didn't see the point. The company viewed this as, well you must have been building nukes for North Korea then I guess. Lying about your degree status discredits the rest of your resume. You know what you lied about but how does your potential employer? Experience and qualifications should be treated equally. I hope my doctor actually went to medical school. I do not have a degree, but I have had a very successful IT career and I currently work for a top-tier cybersecurity software company, very well paid. That said, 
I have never lied on my resume. At least in my field, once you establish expertise for a couple of years, hiring managers will glance over the lack of a degree. Your professional reputation has a lot more weight than you think, so keep friendly relationship with your colleges because you will need them as reference for the future. That said, having a degree from a well-known university has a lot of weight, especially if you plan on climbing the corporate ladder, but I have known many people have a leading large organization without a degree. Lying on a resume is never advised. Hiring managers have their ways to validate your employment and education history. There is a huge difference between, say, lying about having extensive experience with Microsoft Excel and fraudulently claiming you have a law, medical degree with subsequent licensure. It's more about who you know than what you know. A good connection or nepotism will get you much further than the best resume ever could, lies or otherwise. My take is that the vast majority of jobs now just need sufficient training on the job to be performed. A degree means very little in terms of job acquisition. Education has intrinsic merit, it's not a give me a job slip. I've worked several places where the requirements did not match the work that was done and one half the time we used proprietary systems that required you to learn anyway. Degress don't mean very little. People with good degrees work very hard to get it. The fact is that lots of jobs don't require 100% of the knowledge you acquired through your degree. But a good degree holder is a proof that the person has worked hard and has focus or mental capacity to do something. For example, JP Morgan or Goldman, which are finance companies, hire a lot of people who have actually done a degree in science or engineering. On job, there is no science involved but a person with engineering degree from MIT brings assurance that he has mental capacity way above others. The way I see it, degrees are proof that you are capable of undertaking professional employment. I want to make it absolutely clear though that not having a degree doesn't mean you can't succeed in a professional career. The degree is just proof that you are capable of doing it, and is therefore useful for young people who don't have years of professional industry experience to evidence their skills. Postgraduate degrees are also really useful to evidence career commitment and development. My brother who works in HR got promoted and one of the reasons cited for that is because they liked that he had done a master's in HR and that it showed commitment to his professional development. You don't need a specific degree or certification to do 90% of most jobs. But that 10% is the difference between being wildly successful and blowing something up. The reason they are fired once discovered has nothing to do with how well they did their job or not having a degree. They're fired because of their dishonesty and the damage their presence does to the company in question retroactively, at present, but most critically, in the future. From a professional standpoint, someone who lies to your face for years or decades has no integrity and can't be trusted. They exploited others in order to acquire something they didn't put the work in to earn. If a company is allow them to remain, they are endorsing that behavior. Reputation is everything in business and you will lose business if there is even a hint that your company is dishonest. From a legal standpoint, these individuals subject a company to vast swath of civil liability based on argument they used misrepresentation and fraud to entice people to do business with them. Specifically, their existence opens the door to lawsuits based on a company fraudulently representing their services, abilities, and personnel in a manner that can easily rise to and affirm an accusation of detrimental reliance in a civil suit. While their deception could allow a company to successfully argue against liability on the basis they had no knowledge of it, that defense evaporates the very second after said knowledge is acquired. That defense is far from a guaranteed, but it at least gives you a chance at success that is non-existent once the deception is discovered. It gets even worse if we are talking about a profession that requires a degree or certification in order to legally operate as that would entail criminal liability, which can outright destroy any given business and, in many cases, prevent its owners from ever operating, owning, or having a substantial stake in any business in said field ever again. They're absolutely not proof that degrees mean very little. What a completely nonsense statement that is. I faked work experience at two jobs as a sysadmin because I had the technical experience but didn't have the work experience on my resume so even though I knew what I was talking about companies passed over me because I didn't have it on my resume. I've been working at my current company for four years, and just switched to another team which got me a 13 grand raise, 7% bonus and stock options. I remember a story from either 2018 or 2019 where a woman was fired from a university's admissions office after close to 20 years on the job. It was this exact situation. She lied about having a college degree when she was hired. IIRC, she wasn't caught because of poor performance. She was caught because regulations changed and she had to have a degree to keep her job. Every resume has lies in it. What you lie about and how you lie is what matters. There's an art to it. Probably shouldn't be that way but that's how humans are. Puffery is considered acceptable lying. But saying you have a credential you don't have is just stupid. 
This is silly, they could easily lie about other things. Also there are plenty of jobs where lying like that could literally hurt you or others. Somebody been watching Suits? I'm sorry but either I'm stupid or that title doesn't make any sense. If you have to lie about your degrees then that means they're very important. You're claiming to have majored in XY even though you haven't. If degrees wouldn't mean anything then you can happily ignore it in your application? Degrees show that you have some basic understanding in a certain field and while not everyone leaves uni, college with the same knowledge, or knowledge required for your job, they will put you in additional training. Degrees do not mean very little. This logic is cancer and terrific business for student loan sharks. Yes but it may have stopped the company from hiring someone more qualified. Who could have done an even better job? If you lied on your resume that speaks very poorly about you and is a red flag for the employer if they do a good job that's good but we shouldn't just pretend it's okay to lie on your resume due to that emo. No, it is not about the degree. It is about the job that the person lied to get. Past behavior is by far the best predictor of future behavior. This is one of the most established truths of human personalities. This is why we always look at education, resumes, and every other type of record of a person's past when evaluating whether or not we want them for a job, or in our life for some other reason. It is certainly possible that someone could lie about qualifications and still perform well in a job, but these outliers do not prove the basic concept of looking at past behavior wrong. Generally speaking, people that can pull this off are able to do so because the job that they have is bullcrap, not because the education system is. Jobs that require real, quality training, both blue-collar and white-collar, are damn near impossible to fake your way through. Nonsense stuff that any talented person could do, sales for example, is different. It is not hard to lie about having a college degree and be an insurance salesman because you don't need one to sell insurance anyway. But try pretending to have welding certification and see what happens. I love how this just glosses right over the lie part of the problem. As if so long as they do good job the act of lying itself isn't an issue and says nothing about their character. I hate the way hiring is done, and it only seems to get worse. It seems that even the simplest jobs have certifications now and every employer wants you have it completed on your dime before you apply. Degrees don't really help you do a job as much as they help you get a job. I have a degree that has no relation to my job but I'm sure it helps me get jobs. It reassures recruiters looking at my CV that I'm middle class and probably white. You can pretend like an uneducated person can do an educated person's job if you want, I'm uneducated in my field and I can tell you the rate at which I get crap done was about 20% slower than my peers for the first few years because I basically had to look up everything that they learned in school as I needed to use it. So, we are ending up with the same education I'm just costing everyone more time by getting it one paragraph at a time. Scammers are just so cool, huh? Don't forget about the CEO of Radio Shack. Degrees are useless in 90% of corporate jobs. Wow. What a horrifying glimpse at the morality of people. Lying is bad. Misrepresenting yourself is bad. Not only that but if you lie and screw up in a way that costs your company, other stakeholder I'm not even sure you wouldn't be civilly, criminally liable for damages. Why are you creating a fictitious scenario to have an opinion about? Just to have an opinion about people that invest time and effort into earning a degree? Your opinion is not unpopular. I have a way less popular opinion. I never lie on my resume. Ever. It's not just that I don't like to oversell myself, which would at some point come out, is also a matter of respect between humans. If a person asks me what have I done, I tell them as honestly as possible, if I'm not their cup of tea all good. If people didn't lie in the resume life would be easier and evaluators could make better calls. Or that the job was asking for a degree for a job that doesn't need one. It would be nice if job requirements weren't so strict anyway. I usually don't bother with a lot of them cover letter, frick you, if you're interested, we can talk. And sometimes they have some really ridiculous questions. Like, have you ever been fired, terminated from a job? Explain. One was, will you message, person name, and explain why you're interested in this position? And I'm like, no. It should be as simple as, here's what I can do and what I've done in the past. Now you figure out if you want to talk. They are still bad lol. I completely disagree, have an upvote. Well no, they are proof that they are dishonest and can't be trusted. I don't lie on my resume, but I let the employer infer whatever they want. Education. University of Graphic Design and Advertising. I don't say I got my BA. I don't say that I had to drop out with 12 credit hours left because I couldn't afford tuition and instead got a job in my field. I simply put the school I attended and let them think what they will while looking at my work history and portfolio. Engineering, nursing, medical, and law degrees are necessary. I have more than doubled my salary over the last five years by doing this. Here is my advice. Never stay at any place for more than three years. 
Take what you've learned, quantify what you've done and take it to a competitor that will pay you more. Take anything your boss does, that you understand enough to have an intelligent conversation around it, and put those responsibilities under your own on your resume. Recruitment processes are largely done by algorithms, so a lot of candidates are left out even though they could absolutely smash the role. So yeah, if you changed it a little to actually get noticed, smash the job, then that's a good thing all round. I once knew a guy who applied for a job as an architect, interviewed and was hired. He went to work for three weeks before they figured it out and fired him. Lying is unethical. I'm here because I need a law degree. I thought you got one from Columbia? Well it turns out you need an American one too. I think it speaks to a larger integrity issue in people. If they are willing to cut corners, i.e. lie about something they have not done, then what is to stop them from lying about other things in the future? Basically lying on your resume speaks to your individual integrity and that is why I actually used your resume in my interviewing. I'd drill down about particular things and see responses. If you say, I did less than X greater than, and I assume that either you didn't or that you were part of a team, I'm gonna ask enough questions until you get uncomfortable. And approximately 90% of the time people who added little things onto their resume thinking nobody would ever ask get really, really nervous or make up more outlandish lies when and dig deeper. It becomes really obvious, and then you don't get hired. Anyone should know that a degree does not necessarily mean the person knows their crap. It just increases the likelihood manyfold. I only have a high school diploma. My job is essentially the same no matter where I go. I average about $2 less per hour than my average coworker with a degree but we do the same job. I constantly see my job listed with associates or bachelors required, despite my low education but now 7 years experience in the field. I've been asked multiple times, would you go to school to advance? By employers or potential ones. And I always tell them only if I'm compensated by them doing tuition reimbursement or it becomes needed. It's never needed and none have said anything about reimbursement. I'm not going into stupid amounts of debt for a job I can already do. I would go to college if I find a job I really want, but this one is so easy that I don't see the point. They always bring it up and I think it's more of a status thing than anything. You'd have to include all of the people who did a very poor job in the analysis before claiming that degrees mean very little. I suspect if a person doesn't have the discipline to complete college and doesn't have the integrity to be honest about their education that they aren't, on average, going to be a stellar employee. In fact they're proof that degrees mean very little. That people like this exist is not proof of that. Proof that degrees mean very little would be something like finding that people with degrees statistically do very little better than people without them. That is, in general rather than based on some anecdotes you heard. You shouldn't need a degree to understand the difference. There are definitely people who will find their way to an education outside the traditional institutions, and there are definitely jobs that overstate their requirements. That in itself is not proof that degrees mean very little. It only proves that some people and jobs can do without them. Or it means that the company was looking for overqualified candidates to do the job. It's not as clear cut as you assume. Most jobs that require degrees are for using programs you can learn to do on YouTube in a few hours anyway. That wouldn't prove that degrees mean very little, it proves that many HR departments request higher credentials than needed for the position. Whether they are bad depends on whether you think lying and misrepresenting yourself is bad. I would generally agree that many office and professional jobs can be taught to anyone of average intelligence, 